It's the Radio from Hell Show. It's Carrie and Bill and Gina. We're at the Sundance Film Festival, and we're... Uh, live uh, on tape. Live on tape, talking to uh, directors of uh, uh, various uh, Sundance... What, uh, Robert Stone is uh, the director who's with us now, and his film is Earth Days. What competition is this entered in, Robert? This is in the big one, isn't it? It's in premieres. Premieres. Yeah. Uh, this is it's a, the closing night film. Wow, yeah. that's kind of a bur- is is that a burden or you are you a burden? Come on, it's like the plum spot. No, I couldn't be more happy. Yeah, you have a you have a pretty <laughs> proud look on your face. Yeah. I have to say. <laughs> uh, uh, now, this is a film about. Uh, is it about environmentalism or is it about the movement? It, well, it's about how we awakened to the environmental crisis over the course of really a single generation. Um, which is a huge subject and something that I would normally not want to tackle in a film because yeah, usually like that I like, like little stories that talk about big things. Yeah, so, that sounds like a Ken Burns kind of thing. It you know, could kind of, turn into that, but it's actually told as through personal narrative. It's told you follow nine people through the course of from basically from 1950 to 1980. Mm-hmm. Uh, and these nine people each contributed a great deal to forming what we now know as the modern environmental well, movement. And see, my first aware, uh, being aware of this sort of thing was uh, when I was a kid, and, and we had comic books, and there was ads for, you could send away for cloth patches, iron-on, sew-on patches, and there was the green ecology flag. That's right. Do you remember that? Yeah, sure. With the green and white stripes, and it had the circle yeah. with the line through right. it up in the field. That, that was my That was the that Earth was the Day logo, time, yeah. Yeah, first time I was made aware of that there was any kind of move. Uh-huh. Who, who came up with that, and who started that? That well, that, was, that came out of the original Earth Day in 1970, which was sort of the coming out party for the environmental movement. And it really, uh, for anyone who was alive at that time, it was a complete flip of your consciousness about yeah. mm-hmm. the world. And yeah. I, you know, I was a kid. It was really kind of a children's crusade, you know, because yeah. yeah, like, yeah. the older kids were all like protesting the war and mm-hmm. they were getting all radical and we were kids and we wanted to get radical too. But the environment is something a kid can really mm-hmm. get his head around. And, and there were there were TV shows I remember too of these environmental there, kids who were well, going there, out to save the world. There was a, well, I mean, Woodsy Owl, everyone right, remembers sure. that. And then there was a cartoon called Captain Planet that's, and the Planeteers. Right. That's the one, I'm that's the one right. I remember. But it was a huge. It was a huge. I mean, it was twenty million people in America took. It was the biggest demonstration in American history. And right. so you you say it was 1970. I don't think most of us became aware of it until about maybe ten years ago. Uh, well, well a lot of people think the environmental movement started with Al Gore and Lincoln. Yeah, 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 it's actually yeah. all history too. Now, now, growing up in Utah, of course, I, I was uh, familiar with uh, uh, Stuart Udall and uh, Morris Udall, mm-hmm. uh, the because they were from Arizona and and Mormons, I believe. Yes, I, I think they're Mormon guys, yeah. and they were very uh, strong advocates and and uh, of the environmental. Yeah, movement. Stuart Udall has a major role in the film. He's an amazing oh, really? guy. He's. Uh, I think he's 89 now. Yeah. Um, still, you know, sharp as a whip. He was the Secretary of the Interior. Was he the first Secretary of the Interior? No, oh, there's no. always been a Secretary. He yeah. Was, he was, I think, probably the longest. He was Secretary of the Interior under Kennedy and Johnson, so throughout the entire 1960s, and really pioneered a whole host of, uh, of issues that, you know, things we take for granted. Where is the environmental movement then? Where It's come from these uh, beginnings. Uh, where do you think it is now? Do you have some kind of... Well, I think there's a there's a uh, it kind of died in 1980. I mean, and 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 there was this whole burst of energy enthusiasm, and Mm -hmm. laws were passed, and a movement arose. And then, uh, for a variety of reasons, I think partly because people felt like the government was taking care of things, and and then Reagan came in, and just the whole thing became caught up in the whole culture wars. You know, like environmentalists were kind of like sissy tree huggers, and you anti business, and then like if you were. (laughs) If you were religious or business oriented, then you were anti. It was a whole thing that got caught up in the culture wars, you and know. It kind of died, and now it's kind of been rekindled, but mostly around global warming. That's the thing that's kind of gotten everybody excited. You know, I I, I almost uh, got up and uh, turned off my television or, or walked out of the room or so. I was so disgusted last night when I heard George W. Bush give his uh, you know farewell address to the nation, and he listed among his accomplishments or, or things that were better during his eight years as president, cleaner water and cleaner air. 
Did, did, I don't know if you heard that. <laughs> did you catch that? But it depends what you call cleaner. But he, remember, they don't think he doesn't consider carbon dioxide a pollutant. So yeah, yeah. So uh, so, so things have not fared well environmentally during the Bush administration. No, and he's actually a lot of Republicans. I mean, the the, whole, the environmental movement started with the Republican Party, you know, with Teddy mm -hmm. Roosevelt and all that. Mm -hmm. And a lot of Republicans who I've talked to have left the party over what Bush has done. They've been so disgusted. Uh, Republican environmentalists. Uh, the film is Earth Days. The director is Robert Stone. Uh, it's uh, it's the biggie. It's it's in the big competition. It's closing it out, uh, and uh, you can see it. Oh, we got some mini screenings. Where we got uh, Friday the twenty third at nine thirty p.m. at the Eccles Theater here in Park City. Uh, then Saturday the twenty fourth at eight thirty in the morning, Library Center uh, Theater in Park City. Saturday night the twenty fourth, six thirty p.m. at the Rose Wagner downtown. And uh, Sunday the 25th at 10 a.m. Uh, down at uh, Sundance in Utah County in the screening room. Uh, it's, a, it's a fascinating look. Or it should be a fascinating look at uh, the environmentalist movement since its uh, inception until today. Are, are you optimistic, by the way, about saving the environment? Can the planet be saved, sir? I, I, I take the fifth. <laughs> interesting. Interesting. Yes. He's made me feel uneasy. I'm like, <coughs> yeah. It's a hopeful film. But uh, oh, okay. things it, can be done, but we gotta we gotta do a lot more than reducing our carbon footprint. All right, all right. Thank you, Robertson. Thanks Thank a lot, guys. It's the Radio from Hell show. It's Carrie and Bill and Gina.